Hello there, you catatonic cave bears, and welcome to the first episode of the Ella storyline in Let's Play Skyrim Modded to Hell. This is Celadora, Ella for short, and she's a street urchin. Her parents were killed in the Civil War, uh, or her father, rather, was killed in the Civil War, and her mother, in stricken with terrible grief, hung herself. And now she's a beggar, a street urchin, and a thief, and she steals what little she can to get by and to survive with the realistic needs and diseases mod and frostfall and all that going. Um, this should be a very difficult and interesting playthrough, and it's going to actually run parallel with Betty Sweever's playthrough, my other playthrough of Let's Play Skyrim Modded to Hell, because these characters are eventually going to meet in the Betty Sweever storyline of Let's Play Skyrim Modded to Hell. The two characters are going to meet after Celadora, or Ella, grows a little bit and becomes... Um, the woman she's going to become becomes a bit more of a warrior. Um, they're going to meet in Betty Sweever's part of the storyline, and they're going to help each other out. And how I'm going to do that is um, each episode um, uh, in the Ella storyline, she's going to grow a little bit until she becomes not a child, but more of a mature young adult and becomes the character she's going to be. And when that happens, I'm going to make a mod NPC um, of this character, and I'm going to install it in my Betty Sweever playthrough and give her the exact same stats and weapons whatever I had when I reached maturity with this character. And then Betty Sweever and Ella will meet up and will help each other out and somehow their storylines will become intertwined and I'm not sure exactly how yet. And it might be a terrible experiment, but I thought it sounded fun. And plus, this playthrough is going to be completely different because whereas Betty Sweever is more of a warrior, a brute warrior, um, Ella here is a crafty, cunning little street urchin um, she's world weary and wise and quick and nimble and she's a thief and she's a stealthy more of a stealthy mage thief character whereas Betty Sweaver is more of the brute warrior and I realize I'm just wandering back and forth here but I'm trying to fill you guys in on everything that's in my head that I've never actually um, put forth from my mouth yet it's just sort of thoughts floating around in my head so um, so here we go let's start Ella's story and she's um, she's a street urchin um, and she's she's a beggar she begs when she can but mostly um, she has to rely on her own um, her own wit and cunning and thievery to get by because you can't always rely on the helping hands of strangers so let's start this character off perhaps with the realistic needs and diseases mod the first thing we should do is start off by looking for uh, some food however I'm going to need a lockpick you'll see that I've started this character out with nothing. Um, she's got unarmed. That's all she's got as far as fighting. Um, only clothes she has is ragged robes. She's got, well this is just a mod potion, but she doesn't have any actual game potions. Um, she's got some dragon's tongue, because where she sleeps there's some dragon's tongue. Um, and then these are like mod starting books and stuff. Uh, so she has nothing, basically. She has her robes and her fists. Um, oh, and, and the magic spells she started with flames and heal, I guess. And forage, which is a mod spell. Um, there's some other stuff here. But anyways, so this is Ella. Um, if you guys have a better name or a better suggestion for a name, let me know. But I kind of think Ella's cool. Um, anyway, so let's get started. Probably first thing would be to try to find a lockpick. Um, and I have no money, I literally have no gold. The game starts you out with a little bit of gold, and I just got rid of it. Because I want this to be extremely difficult, and I want Ella to literally have to work from the ground up to become the character she's going to be. Um, <clears throat> so, we've, we've literally got nothing. So I can start by leveling my sneak, and pickpocketing a lot probably would be a good idea. And she is sort of a street urchin, she's probably going to get in and out of trouble, she's probably going to see the inside of a jail a couple times. Um, probably get caught by guards a lot that's probably going to happen um, there's some of the some of the some of the wealthy kids that I despise because they've got parents to go home to that love them and a nice warm bed to sleep in and a big meal waiting for them on the table when they get home um, so we don't really talk much so first things first I could just start harvesting ingredients that are free um, and I need to find a lockpick probably what is this? Potato plant? Sure, why not? I'll harvest all this stuff. Um, Ella might need to get good at alchemy after all, um, since she has to be crafty and rely on her wits and won't be much of a warrior. Um, she might need to make potions and poisons. That might be a good thing for her to get into, but mostly I'm thinking she's going to be um, a thief and probably... Hey, uh, she'll probably deal in alchemy and probably also magic. 
but she won't be as much of a warrior. In fact, I don't even know if this character will ever use a sword. We might we might end up using a bow and arrow at some point, but I might completely, since Betty Sweaver is more of the warrior, I might completely keep this character away from any, um, from any shields and swords type of gameplay. All right, guys, so first things first, I should probably get a lockpick, but the problem is I have absolutely no money, no gold to speak of, so, um, I think I'm going to have to beg maybe a little and see if I can get enough money to buy a lockpick or something. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold. Yes. <laughs> Actually, you're onto something there, buddy. It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground or just left lying around in someone's house. Mm. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. Why don't I just take my it all and keep DJ all the profits for myself? Hunters. We like to collect things. Tell me why I shouldn't just keep all these items and get all the benefits for myself instead of sharing it with you. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. It's kind of a lot of work for a 12-year-old or whatever the hell. I, I don't know. What does what she look like to you? What an interesting idea. I don't know how old she is. I haven't decided her like age yet here. Alright, but I might just do it all myself and take all the profits and kill you. Although, I don't have any weapons and I'm not powerful enough probably yet. Please, can you spare a septum or two? Get a job, lazy beggar. Sorry I ask, you know. The divines don't look upon greedy people favorably. I got a saw and a shovel from him. Great, that's wonderful. It would be best if we spoke little until we've completed Yeah, what am I gonna do with a saw and a shovel? Thanks a lot, man. What about a guard? I wonder how they would respond to begging. Staying safe, I hope. Please, can you spare a septum or two? There are laws against panhandling here. Be gone or I'll throw you in jail. Oh man. Okay, so you don't want to ask a guard. And I think this is another beggar, so I probably shouldn't ask him. Spare some gold for a veteran? I'm gonna ask him in return. What about you? Can you spare some gold? <laughs> get a job, lazy... <laughs> the beggar's telling me to get a job, lazy beggar. That's hilarious. Oh! I got another so shovel and a saw. It's best you leave me be. What about you, Gils Gisli? Welcome to the center of the world. Or oh at least God. my brother. You sound Eric haughty and world. pretentious. You're probably wealthy then. Ten gold, alright. I could never ignore ignore someone in need, she says. Oh, you're better than I thought you were, Gisli. Whatever the hell your name is. Alright. New in town, right? If you need a place to sleep, head over to the Winking Skeever. I don't have the money for that kind of betting. You know, the winking skeever's not Can you spare a septum or two? Cabbage potato soup added. Oh, that'll come in handy when I get hungry. Thank you, kind sir. How about you? The only people around who aren't The divines saved me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. Well, you can save me from my trials right now by giving me some money. All right, ten gold. Thanks, Solana. How about the shopkeep shop owners here? You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? Uh, what do you need from the docks? Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to convince them to release it. Hmm. I wonder if I could, uh... I wonder if I could just take those spices myself. Great. Get back to me when you're done and I'll give you something for your time. Alright, but how about in the meantime? Do you have a septum or two to spare? Ah, cabbage potato soup what again? Need, my friend? How about you? You look like you could do with a ripe apple. Or a tomato. Cabbage, but everybody's giving me that. Like, does everybody in this town have that soup or something? How about you? Lady Atia says my voice. Yes, yes, yes. Ten gold, alright. You haven't heard Dean Pantheon. What about can you hit up the same person twice? May the divines guide and may you be saved by the divines. At least not that person. Alright, this is working out pretty well though. I'm getting lots of saws and shovels for some reason. How about you? Priest of the eight divines, You're a priest, you, you should be able to spare a septum or two. There we go. Oh, the priests are nice. This is good. How about the blacksmith? I wonder if he will uh, give me a septum or two. 
seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? Looks like I can't actually ask the blacksmith. Huh. That sucks. Return anytime you need arms or armor. They just won't even let me. Hmm, guards. Nope, don't want to go into guard territory. If anything, I should probably be stealing um, lockpicks, weapons, and food for now. In fact, with the realistic needs and diseases mod, that's going to be the most important thing. I'm going to go to the inn and see if I can steal some food. I also have Frostfall on hardcore mode, and I have this um, I have this ragged robes outfit that I'm wearing here set up to only provide limited exposure protection. So, at night, um, I'm probably going to die in my sleep. I'm not really sure. It's probably not good. I don't know. No business with you. Guess we'll find out. Ugh. Wait, I can just take this? Oh, nice. Thank you. Go away. I have more important things on my mind right now. Nice. It's not stealing. That's not stealing either. I'll take. Oh shit. That okay. That last thing I took was stealing. The rest of it wasn't for some reason. I better get out of here. Well, I got a bounty now, but at least I got some food. Um, and I'm not gonna redo anything. Whatever I, what, anytime I screw up or mess something up, I'm just gonna keep playing it. I'm not gonna like, oh, I got caught stealing. I better load an old save. None of that shit. Um, I'm probably going to need. I am a stealth character. I'm probably going to at least need a dagger though, or or maybe a bow and arrow. Maybe I could, uh, maybe I could steal a bow and arrow from the Fletcher here. And also, I could harvest these rabbits. I really need a lockpick, though. There's a nice Imperial longbow. And no one is watching me, what do you know? Nordic War Axe. What was that Imperial Longbow uh, damage? 46? 45 on the Iron Longbow. I'll take the Potion of Vigor. It's worth a lot. I'll take the baked potatoes and the Salmon Steak and the Tundra Cotton. I'll take these arrows and your Mead and your Poison. Hell, I'll take all these poisons. Nice. Ooh, gold. Can you see me though? I can't tell if I'm seen or not. Okay. Oh, cheeses and more bows. See if I don't have a lockpick. Yes, I'll take all this food. Oh man, this is great. I won't be going hungry tonight. Damn, I'm so short I can't crouch and still reach this stuff. Oh, maybe I can. I was gonna say, I'd like to be able to see um, my crosshair telling me if I'm seen or not when I take this. But if I have to stand up, I don't get the hidden crosshair. Okay, let's see. What's in this barrel? Eh, why not? Nice, got some better clothes. A hunting short bow. Hmm. My other one does more damage though. This one probably fires faster. Well, thanks for everything, dude. Eh. Catch you later. Alright, this is going well so far. I've already got a longbow here, and got some arrows, and I got plenty of food. Oh man, this is, might be easier than I thought. Okay. Um, and I got some new clothes. Let's check it out. Oh, 
miner's clothes. Yeah, at least it's better value and probably looks a little bit nicer than what I had. What else did I have? This one. Ah, that's nice. Alright. What do you think, guys? The miner clothes? Miner's clothes? Or the other one. I don't know, I kinda think she would wear this because she would feel like she had a she would feel like she had a beautiful dress for the first time, you know, even though it's even though it's shabby. I really wish in a situation like this where I'm playing a thief and a beggar that um that you could just sell stolen items to anyone as long as, you know, they didn't know it was stolen and you weren't selling it to the original um owner. But uh I think there's maybe a mod or an INI change that does that, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that or not yet. I might possibly do that. Alright, it's getting late. Should I go ahead and head back to sleep? Let's see. What's uh, 7 11? It's not that late yet, really. Alright, I need. I really need a lockpick. Um, where? What would be the best? You guys let me know. What would be the best way to find. Should I just start looking in barrels? Will they, will they ever turn up if I just do that? Or should I go actually try to buy one now that I've got a little bit of gold? How much do I have, anyways? 43 gold I managed to get today out of begging. That's pretty cool. I think I should probably turn in for the night. Um, I got myself some food, I got some new clothes, and I got some gold. And then tomorrow I will maybe um, look into getting myself a lockpick so I can loot the hell out of this town. Anyways, um, so this is my new playthrough. How often am I going to be switching between and playing? You know, how often am I going to be doing each one? I'm not really sure yet. And actually, guys, I've, I've been wanting to mention this. Um, it's actually hardly worth it for me to even keep making Let's Plays. I really honestly need to keep making my mod review videos because those get anywhere from like 70,000 to 300,000 views per video um, and really help my channel to grow whereas my let's plays only get about 2,000 views on average and aren't really doing much to help my channel to grow now if I just took a few months to just do mod review videos and got like 300,000 views on each of those and really grew my channel then I could you know do let's plays all the time and it wouldn't really matter um, and I could really use those mod review videos to help my channel to grow. It's really almost not even worth it for me to even do these Let's Plays, except for the fact that they're enjoyable to me, which, you know, I mean, I guess that's, in the end, that's all that really matters. But, basically, what I'm trying to get down to saying here is that I don't really know how long I'm going to be doing these Let's Plays or how often I'm going to be able to upload them, because I think I'm going to start concentrating more on the mod review videos just so I can grow my channel. Um, but I'm not going to give them up completely, I mean obviously, or I wouldn't be starting a brand new storyline. Um, but I don't know for sure, I might honestly concentrate on mod reviews more for a while just to help grow my channel. Um, so we'll see. It looks like I'm hungry and I need something to drink now. Um, I should, I'll go ahead and have a light snack then before I sleep. So I could have a bit more. Says I'm full, okay. I don't have any water or anything though, do I? I got mead. Says I can have a bit more water. I wonder if the soup quenches your thirst. Yep, decrease thirst. But then but see I'm already full, that'll mean I've eaten too much. Well, I gotta get my water somehow. Oh wait! There's drinking drinking fountains. Yeah, I can just go find a drinking fountain. I should get a quick drink before I hit the hay. Alright. I had an empty bottle too, so I just filled it. And I'll save that empty bottle for later, and for now I'll just drink this. My thirst has been quenched. And I've got a bottle full of spring water for later too, so that's awesome. But man, that's going to be the hard thing, is finding water. Um... I mean, if I'm in town and I have access to a drinking fountain, no problem. Um, but other than that, it's going to be kind of hard to find just clean water lying around to steal. Um, so I'll, my character's probably going to end up finding a lot more wine and mead than she is water. So I'm probably going to end up being drunk all the time. But an urchin will take what she can get. Now let's uh, have a little sleep. And let's get up early. You know, waking feeling rested, I'm hungry, and my throat feels a bit dry. Okay. So I'm going to grab a bite to eat. Eat the stolen stuff first. In case I happen to get caught. 
get rid of all the stolen food items first. I've also got food spoilage on in Realistic Needs and Diseases, so if I don't eat the food soon enough and I keep it too long, um, it will go bad. So, Alright, I'll go ahead and get another drink at the fountain again and save my bottle for later instead of using it. Although it hardly matters, because I could always just refill the empty bottle later. But for now, I'm just going to get a drink at the fountain and keep my bottle. Thirst has been quenched. And it's early. Alright, so that's it. I really just wanted to set up this um, this storyline for this playthrough and show you guys what my idea was for this. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Um, and so that's going to be it for this one for today, guys. But let me know if you have any suggestions of where I could go with this storyline or if you don't like the name or if there's any um, ideas you have for this character that you think would be cool to see let me know because as you guys probably know by now I'm pretty open to taking suggestions from viewers and a lot of times you guys have some of the best ideas you know so um, so let me know what you think and uh, I'm, I'm gonna be continuing the Betty Sweever quest line too so for those of you guys that are like oh no you know I was really into the last playthrough and he finally got dragons in the game and all that don't worry cuz like I said they're they're going to be running parallel these storylines and they're going to eventually intersect um, and become a part of each other so I'm not giving up the other one so don't worry about that um, but anyways, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, send me hate messages, start a flame war, whatever you want to do, and I'll see you next time. Bye.